What's everybody? Welcome to VC. My name is Vincent. And I'm Chloe. So, oh, hello. <laughs> so, today we are at Genting Highland Sky World. Yep. Yep, so today we are going to tour you around what's inside Sky World. Upon their soft opening, it's not fully, fully open yet, but we will bring you to all of the places that you should go and what's inside. And is it worth it? So, let's go. Wait a minute. Can we go back to where we came from? Alright, hold on. Let's rewind. Hello! So where are we right now? We are at Genting Highland! Yeah! What's up everybody? Welcome to VC. My name is Vincent. And I'm Chloe. And now we are at Genting Highland. So yep. that's the first time I drove here. <laughs> and yeah, How's this that is experience. Yeah, it was fun. It was. It's easier than Mount Kinabalu, I would say. Yep. Than Kunasang. Yeah. But now we are at the outlet. We are going to the cable, uh, car. cable car, the Awani Sky. Awana. To take the cable car to Sky World. So this is how it looks like around here. And then there are all of the um, outlets. Yeah, but. It's like an open air shopping center. Yeah, it's cool and it's actually kind of cool. Ah. Alright, right. thank you. Oh, so they asked us to scan. If you bought the tickets online and you have the QR code, so they asked you to just scan it just like that. Where we are? We wow. are going to Sky World. We're at Genting Highlands and then we're in a cable car as you can see. Yep. Look at that. So today we're gonna bring you a tour about Sky World, casual vlog and also show you whether is it worth it or not. Yeah, and we're also gonna have some fun going on some rides and experiencing it. Actually they haven't done their uh, what's it called? Official opening yet. They've done the soft opening around February, so uh, we're gonna experience it when not all of the rides are open yet, I think. Yeah. yeah, so we'll let you know about that. Then probably after they open, then after a few months, we'll come back again to actually review um, with all of the other rides that are open. But we'll see, we'll see about that, yeah. Yep, so enjoy the ride. So after you get into this mall, you have to go straight to H&M Yep, we have to go straight down, down, down until Yeah, the find H&M floor. until the first floor and then you can link You can link to Sky World on your right Thing, you have two theme parks one is indoor one is outdoor so before this the outdoor one was closed for about like uh, three to four years or maybe more or longer and then all we had to do was go to the indoor one now the outdoor one is open so we'll go there you go Genting Highland Sky World. Yep. Yep, so today we are going to tour you around what's inside Sky World 
upon their soft opening is not fully fully open yet but we will bring you to all of the places that you should go and what's inside and is it worth it so let's go so this is Rio as you can see we have this kind of swinging around kind of roller coaster yep. so this one is and called the samba glider yeah. something like a flying fox but you are actually sitting on it and yeah, dangling your feet basically yeah dangling your feet basically yeah but uh uh, some tips and tricks if you first came here please go to the apps download it and then make sure you have the virtual queue so you don't have to queue up so much for so long so basically with the apps we will recommend you getting it because it helps you to um, know the map without you having to open the big piece of paper and then like uh, going through the paper all the time because the map is quite big if you want to get it but uh, since now you have the apps, you can actually go to the maps at your apps. Then after that, you could actually do the virtual queue on it. So remember to plan your journey properly, yeah. just so you don't waste any time on the queues. And we have some showcase here. Yeah. With all of the dancing sometimes, depending on the time. Yeah, there was actually dancing just now. It's very, very loud now. And from here, you can see it's there a food stall, actually, basically. There are actually cafeterias for you to sit at, and then you could like rest and maybe get some food, get some drinks right here. Yep, and, now you, and also you can buy some souvenirs around here. And you can queue up for the Samba gliders yep. in so, here. So the one that you saw just now, it is actually Samba gliders. So you can queue up right here to get it. So basically this is where you queue up and then you got some kind of stalls around here. Yeah, for and then, food. then souvenirs. you have some small game plays. That one you have to pay a little bit extra for it. Yeah. It's not included in our in your ticket, but of course the rides are included in it. So yeah, you have so as these, these kind of games things. and they give out bananas. Yep. Like the big bananas. Yeah. So, so as you can see all of these kind of things, this is all round of the samba gliders and we turn around you have this another store for play i mean basically that's all of the fun if you're coming here for dating it's great for you but for your family time it's very good for you and then the first game the second game basically it's rio and then you, it's basically a cup spinner. You can sit down there and then spinning around. Yep, so yep. this game is called Real Carnival Chaos. You can find it in your app, then go, go for it. You are basically like in a cup while spinning around and around and around until you're dizzy. Yeah, but you can control it. So if you're looking for this one, it is called the Blue Sky Carousel. So there's double decker, yeah, and then you can turn round and round like a merry-go-round, basically. Yeah. Yep. So that's one of the games. Shall we go that side? Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. Yep, so let's go to that side first. So you walk through this thing, where you have a tunnel. Then when you go in on your map, you could actually see this on the right uh, top of it. It's like a secret garden or something. So. This one is the epic voyage to moon heaven. Yeah. So what was your experience with this? We actually this get in this, I think this is the first game that we played. Yeah. So this one is like a boat that you're going to be wet for sure. Yeah, so I brought my camera in without knowing we, I'm going to get wet. So my entire camera just get wet basically. So for us, we would recommend you going for this ride maybe at the end or unless you are already prepared with some uh, waterproof kind of yeah. jacket or something. Yeah. yeah, just so you don't get like extra extra wet yeah, without even going on the other rides. Yeah. How was it? We're all wet. As you can see in your lens of your camera right here, you are a little bit wet. So we didn't expect it to be like wet, a wet, wet. ride. Yeah. But yeah, okay, it's done. For this ride, it is called the Epic Hummingbird Flyers. So if you're looking to go on this ride, it's actually a family-friendly kind of ride, I would say. Because when you fly on it, you can control whether you want to go up or down. So this one has a little bit, tipsy bit of water spraying too. So be careful on yeah. that. Yeah, from there, you can actually come out from the 
haven that the moon haven you came in just now that's the exit you got a small cafe here for your snacks that's the hummingbird thingy that you can see it's flying right now yep that's how it looks like and yeah for this place is basically that's it So we are currently at Ice Age right now. So on my left, there's actually a rock and slide. So I think many people miss this because it is blocked by a lot of rocks. So as you can see here, it is called rock and slides. And then it is something like, a, what's this called? A boat. A parachute, like yeah. a swinging kind of thing. Yeah, but it swings. Then after that, you have a bit of water splashing, I assume, because there's like water splashing. And behind me, this is the roller coaster yep. that isn't open yet. Yeah, this is called the Acorn Adventure, which is a roller coaster ride, but it is not open yet, which is coming soon, so hopefully later. So on your left right here also, you have Sid's Playground, uh, wait, sorry, Sid's Playhouse, which is a family-friendly kind of uh, showcase. So there's actually um, cartoons from the Ice Age where they have mascots and then they'll be doing some dancing and some acting too. So it's really really interesting if you're being, if you have kids you could go take a look at it. And then you have some merchandise. So basically this part is not fully open yet, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, like yeah. on your left this one is actually the Ice Age Expedition Thin Ice which is coming soon. I think it's something like a boat ride too, or I, I'm, yeah, not, like I'm not quite sure, but it's an expedition um, center kind of thing. Yeah, you sit there and then you just look at what's inside the design. It's actually pretty cool, all of the set design, everything is very, very fantastic. Yep. So yeah. how's your experience here so far? Yeah, so far it's pretty great actually. Yeah. So you have different kind of theme within this park, uh -huh. because uh, Genting actually took all of the IPs which means intellectual property of Ice Age, Epics, some of other games, not games, but cartoons. Mm -hmm. And then made it a really, really good place, the Sky World. So next one, we are going to the spaceship. So on my right here, you have the Alpha Fighters pilot. We had a sit on it just now, and it was really, really crazy because you can see it's going 360 degrees and just round and round like that. So you can't control it at all, so you have no idea on when is it going to turn or what. So sometimes when it doesn't do a full circle, so it makes you stay on upside down for like 3 seconds, then they turn you into the other direction, so it's really really scary. But for people like me personally, I like extreme kind of a ride. So I really really enjoy this one, but if you're looking for something more peaceful, then maybe this one would be very very dizzy for you. So on my left hand side here, this is the boot camp training. So some people may say that this is for like kids and all, but I wouldn't say so because you have the flying fox inside and there are actually nets that you could uh, go after and then there are blocks for you to climb on so it's really really a different experience on my right here you could see this so this one i don't know how high is it but it's basically the thing where it goes up and down up and down where it feels like you're jumping off a building. So make sure you virtually queue for it so you don't have to wait so long for it. But it should be a really, really crazy ride, so yeah. So this part is a tunnel that we can actually get through from the space area to into the to the entrance. Area. So basically it's straight on to the fountain that we came in. And now we are go straight into the tunnel. So here is all of the blue LED lighting. That looks very, like very a nice. tunnel, like you're traveling through some place to some place. Time travel? Yeah, time traveling. Yeah, really, really interesting. Yeah, actually it's a really, really, really good place to take photo actually. Yep. And then we are back at the main entrance. Yep. So we'll go through the other way and then show you what else are there here. We are yep. back to the original place that we came in and this is the fountain. So behind you is actually the rocks where it is a roller coaster ride kind of thing but it is motorbikes and it is called the Mad Ramp Peak 
which is a full throttle racing. Yeah, full throttle racing. So it's like racing. a you sit it on a moto and then kind of roller coaster. Yeah. So, so it's not fully open yet, but this kind of design is based on California. Yep. So hopefully it's open very very soon, and the, the whole design looks very very attractive because this is one of the largest roller coaster in the whole park. So shall we go to another side of the park? Yep. Let's go. Yep. Let's go. So here is the entrance for the, roller, the bike roller coaster that we said just now that is not open. And on your right and on your left, you have different different places that you can take photos and also buy some souvenirs that you want to keep. And the vibe here is so country. Then you have a cafeteria which you could um, get some food and then rest. So right in front of you, you have another swing kind of um, aeroplane thing which is called the ESD Global Defender. There's a lot of people lining up and the ride looks really, really cool because you're basically turning 360 degrees again. It's almost the same as the one just now, but this one is more like a smaller turn because you're just turning by your side. That it's one not individual turn, but this one is like a, everything turned together. So it looks like this. We are going to Central Park, right? Yep, well, we are going to Central Park. This is the night at the museum store, which is open, and you could get some of your dinosaurs or whatever souvenirs that you want. And here you have the night at the museum, which is technically, uh, basically a ride where they showcase all of their uh, things and then it's a ride at like night at the museum but it's not open yet so hopefully we'll get to experience that soon because i was actually looking forward to go in this one yeah and this is this looks actually very very yeah, attractive yeah, yeah. yep and also on my right this is a fountain water dancing performance yeah, 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 that yeah, you yeah, looks yeah, like this like yeah I, I accidentally got a shot from when they have scheduled water dance thingy so it looks like kind of like this and also you got pizza stall and then you have another cafe right here this is where we actually get our lunch yep cosmic which, cafe yeah which kind of looks like this we got some rice chicken how was the meal it was a good meal it was like uh, i mean as expected when you come to these uh parks like um, more to a tourist kind of place right the food is not gonna be as cheap as usual it's kind of pricey but at least it was a good meal so yeah it was a good meal Ice Age stores again. merchandise again obviously yep. and also you got all of the cosmic colorful design right here so yeah it's, it looks actually pretty good here is a straight go of these games where you get to win some plushies. See, those plushies are really, really big. So here on my left, this is actually the Independence Day where, if I'm not mistaken, it's actually a virtual reality kind of thing where your chair will move and then the screen is right in front of it's you. It's like a 4D cinema experience. Yeah, a 4D cinema experience. But more intense, I guess. Yeah. So we actually didn't get to sit on this one, which is quite kind of sad. But from the reviews, a lot of people were saying that this is a really, really fun ride. And this is a must ride. Yeah, but we still haven't ride it yet. Yeah. yeah, probably need to come back next time. So after that, you got the plane you can get through from there to there. So it's basically one round. And then now we are going back to this route. Welcome to the invasion of the planet of the apes. I feel like this is like a post the post apocalypse. Yeah, post apocalypse because of planet of the apes and then you got robots kind yeah. of thing. The design is around like this. Yeah. It's kinda of rusty rusty. And then of course you got looking something like a very OG cinema place. Yep. Planet of the Apes. And then this is the route you're going for. And then what else we have here? Alright, here I think these are actually for taking photos. So the Planet of the Apes that you saw just now, it is still not open yet. But it is actually something that you could get into. But yeah, there are there's a redwoods right here which is another restaurant, right? Restaurants and also all of the merchandise. Yeah, the merchandise. And then on oh. your right, 
It's actually the robot thing. This part. So when you go in, it's basically you can play two games. One is down, one is up. In your map, you could find it. Um, the bottom one is called Rivet Town Roller, and then the upper one is called Big World Zeppelins. Yep. So the entrance is right here, two of them. And then the bottom game is something that goes 360 degrees, which you could actually control, which we rolled on it just now, and it was super duper dizzy. Like very, very dizzy because you're controlling it. So it was a very, very fun experience. Just now when I rolled on it, right, I didn't know that you have to keep on pushing it for it to go to like a full round. But instead I pushed it, then we were stuck halfway. And the first thing that you want to do when you're halfway, like upside down, is supposed to hold on the thing. But now you have to hold on the joystick to actually turn it again. So it was kind of scary, but yeah. So the upper one is just a very, very chill kind of ride where you can feel the breeze and it's a family-friendly kind of ride. Yep. We are back to the space area, which this is the place with most of the extreme thing that you can play with actually in this area. So you got the roller coaster right there and then the jumping suicidal kind of thing right here. I hope to come here next time and then go on the other rides. Yeah, because there are still quite a lot of places isn't open yet. So yeah, hope to see everything is open and we can actually come here to play one more time everything. Right? I think if you're staying overnight here, you could probably get the two days ticket, which is a little bit more expensive than the one day pass, of course. But it gives you more time to actually queue for the rides and then play on the rides. Not just once, maybe you want to go for the second ride or the third ride, you are able to do so to your fullest. Because you're paying the money right and your time, so make sure you enjoy yourself playing all of these games and yeah, have fun! So, finally we have finished the whole tour. Hope you like it and yeah, anything you want to conclude? Well, it was a really really fun experience and we hope that you come here and actually experience this too. But if you're looking forward to go on all of the rides, then maybe you could come after their official opening or maybe check out if they already open all of these rides. So yeah, would it worth it for you? Yeah, it's pretty worth it to be honest because it's still new and the things is pretty fresh I would say. So yeah, for 2022, I think it's a good place to bring a family, bring your friends, your another one, family dating. I think it's a fun place to be. So that's all from us today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do give us a like and consider subscribing and click the bell and we will see you in the next video. Ciao!